Hi, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on getting started with uh, Microbit. Let's get into it. All right, so uh, here we are. Um, I've got my Microbit box uh, <laughs> taking up a lot of the, the frame there. Um, so the first thing that uh, you'll need to do is to open up your code editor. You can see it on the right side of the screen over here. Um, this is the make code editor, um, and I've included the link down in the description. Uh, once you have that open, uh, you're ready to hook up your micro bit and get coding. So um, first I'm gonna open up my box here and we'll kind of like see what's, what's all inside. Um, you don't need a whole lot to get started. Um, and there's got include some extras in here. Um, you've got the microbit itself in a little anti-static bag. You've got potentially batteries, depending on the model you have, battery pack, uh, and a USB cable. The rest of that can go off to the side. Um, take your USB cable and plug it into the computer. Um, I've got one already plugged in. Uh, and we can set these off to the side. You can power your micro bit with batteries, but you don't have to. Um, and you know, when you're uploading code, you're going to plug it into your computer anyway. So it's not strictly necessary. Uh, and then you can remove the micro bit from the bag. And here you have it. It's a little, little board. Uh, it's called a microcontroller. It's like a little computer and we can write code for it. Um, when you first plug it in, it's going to make a little animation. You can see we have our LED display. Uh, you might be able to hear the speaker going off, got little animations playing, uh, and we're just going to uh, let that be quiet. <laughs> um, now, to upload code to your microbit, uh, there are a couple of steps. Uh, first off, it, you, you don't have to use the actual microbit when you're testing things out. Um, you can also see that uh, your microbit comes with this simulator, uh, which is super useful. And if you write some code, you can actually see that code run on the simulator. I'm gonna do something really simple just to get started. I'm gonna go to basic. I'm gonna grab that on start block and then show LEDs. When the microbit first gets power, it's gonna run all the code inside of the on start block. And I can draw a little design in there. To see the result of the code in the simulator, uh, I can just pause for a second and it'll go ahead and do it. If I want to stop and try again, I can hit that play button and it shows in the simulator. Now to get this onto your actual micro bit, uh, the process is slightly, uh, there's a couple extra steps. So we have our micro bit on the desk. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug that in. We can see the, hear the sounds, all that stuff. We'll let that play out. Um, then I'm going to go over to this download button and hit download. This is going to download a hex file. Uh, you'll see it in the downloads uh, in your browser. If I go over to my, and here we are. You can see I have this microbit.hex file. This is uh, the file that contains all my code. And if I want to run it on the physical micro bit, all I need to do is grab it and drop it onto the micro bit. Uh, depending on what computer you're using, you might get a progress bar like you see up here. And we just need to wait for that uh, progress bar to complete. And then we'll see the output on our micro bit. Oh, it's already, it already did it. You can see we have our code running on the micro bit. So that's the process. Uh, generally, if you're testing things uh, as you go, you're going to want to use the uh, the simulator. It's just immediate feedback really fast. Uh, and then if you want to use your micro bit in a project, then you're going to want to uh, test it out on the physical hardware. So there's different, different use cases for different things. Uh, and that, I think, will be the end of this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions uh, and you uh, have trouble with any of the steps in this video, please let us know. We'd love to help. Otherwise, good luck and happy coding.